Hi guys, my name is Gabe and today's nature spark is the trailing blackberry. You can find this plant usually in open forests, disturbed areas, parks, side of the road, and even some people's backyards. When we think of the name the trailing blackberry, trailing is a term we use to describe a plant that likes to grow on the floor of forests. Instead of going for a height, it tries to spread out horizontally as much as it can, usually never getting ta much taller than your knees. Three easy ways to identify the trailing blackberry bush is the vines, the leaves, and the fruit that is quite delicious and all animals love. Let's take a look at each of these. The vines of the trailing blackberry, while small in diameter and thin, are armed with curved to straight thorns. These vines also have the unique ability of being able to root wherever they touch the ground, allowing the trailing blackberry to quickly spread across open spaces in the forest floor. The leaves of the trailing blackberry appear along the end and on the vines. They grow in groups of threes with the terminal leaf, the one at the end, shaped like a little Christmas tree. All the leaves, however, are usually a dark green color and toothed along the edges. The trailing blackberry also produces large white or pink flowers that can measure up to four centimeters across. Each flower has five petals, and you can usually find these guys blooming as early as April and all the way up until August. During the summer and fall, the trailing blackberry produces deep red to shiny black blackberries. These fruits are all generally the same size and are all edible, sweet, and delicious. It's not uncommon to see all sorts of critters eating blackberries right off the bush. For example, deer, squirrels, and even bears. Stop! Chances are if you go looking for the trailing blackberry, you will find another species of blackberry that's really common, the Himalayan. There are some key differences you can see, however. In the Himalayan, the vine, while still thorned, is much thicker, much more robust. This gives the Himalayan blackberry bush the ability to grow vertically and not have to spread over the valley floor. So instead you end up with these giant bushes of this plant. Another way to tell them apart is the Himalayan blackberry bush leaves come in groups of five instead of groups of three. Moreover, instead of looking like little Christmas trees, they're giant ovals. Hey, don't you worry. The berries on this bush are still edible and still delicious. Well guys, that's it for today's Nature Spark. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about both the trailing blackberry and the Himalayan blackberry, some of the differences between the two. And I really hope you guys feel confident that you can go out and find some tasty berries in nature.